Hey guys, what's up? This is Gom, and welcome to Evil West on the PC. This is a... I'm not actually sure. I, from what I've seen, it is like a third-person action RPG with like some shooter elements as well, where we fight against a vampire or trying to take over either the world or America, which you know, for some people, some people would say that is the world. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and get this started. Uh... I we're going hard. <laughs> Evil difficulty is as tough as it gets. You can choose it right away, but it's not recommended for the first playthrough. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Upon death, the entire progress is deleted. No, I'm good. I'm playing with the controller here since it seems like it might be more of a third-person oriented game. But if I I'll, I'll try if it supports swapping back and forth pretty easily, then I'll, I'll try out mouse and keyboard to see if maybe, maybe, maybe the shooting will actually Since be really relevant. the time relevant. of the Founding Fathers, dark forces have been preying on America. As the fight against these vampires continued, a secret organization has trained people with remarkable skills. The agent's duty is to protect ordinary people from the forces of evil. Whoa. Lovely name for a train. Arrow said we can trust his source, and the son of a bitch of sources I don't trust. Retirement is doing wonders for your attitude. Retirement is great. It's getting dragged out of it for the great goddamn train hype that traps my ass. Old Chester's in a chattier mood than your sour ass. Don't worry about the other boy. Dynamite's a great conversation starter. While we're on the dynamite, Chester will be none too chatty with his guts sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. We aren't gonna use that train. Yeah. Harrow's not gonna be happy about the bridge. Ugh. Arrow can suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Uh, let's go have a look, see. I go high. Well, uh, what if I wanna go high too? Alright, now hold that one. There weren't subtitles there. Why weren't there subtitles? Yeah, what the fuck? The subtitles are on, bruh. <laughs> oh, arachnophobia decides rather to leave the most intense occurrences of spiders visible. What is that? We're we're fine. I don't have arachnophobia. I just dislike spiders. There's a difference. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. The bridge being taken out. Yeah, that looks pretty hardcore. Almost there. I'm about to say, I'm surprised this place is even holding up. There we go. Wasn't really telling me my, my buttons to press there. Might have to go look at Let's the. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Lock up and press A once it changes into like a little rope icon. Okay. What's that sound? Stop whining! Start moving! You smell that? 
Is that the train you're smelling, or is it me? Oh, oh, damn. Every RI agent wears a steel fist capable of beating enemies to a pulp. Tap right bumper to punch away. The melee com attacks can be chained to a combo. All right. What? 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 That's why I'm on a controller. All right. New lore. Evasion. Evade enemy attacks to get out of reach fast. Tap A to dodge or tap, double tap A to roll away. All right. And then lore. Infected vessel. The weakest link in the Sanguisuge family tree. The process of their change was hindered by either an unsupported blood type or general hereditary shortcomings. The, this unsuccessful transformation deprives the vessels of their humanity and leaves them with an intense craving for blood. Due to the or underdeveloped vampiric structure of their jaw, the vessels can't puncture the skin of their prey to suck their blood. Instead, they brutally mutilate their victims and lick the blood from any open wounds. No, no. <laughs> that sounds awful. Ooh, wait, I want to move there. Uh, where, where are we heading, boys? Alright, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to beat you up. Ooh. Is there a lock on mechanic? I guess not. Hold on, I see treasure over here. That didn't seem like 181 bucks, but sure. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is the right place for me to go. Okay. Why couldn't they have just called it coins? I would have accepted 181 gold coins. Born 1857, 1864, 1881. Arranged in order of vintage like fine wines. Oh no. Is it blood? Brody. All dead. Fuck. Bonus or bucks pickups. Look around for bucks pickups oh, if you come in handy later. This worth our time, Chester. There's a secret chest to be found outside the main path. Walk over the money bag. Look. I already got some money before you told me about it. Ha ha ha. Hero punch. Press RB while dodging forward to close the gap to an enemy and attack immediately. So I can dodge away and then do dodge more. Oh shit! Whoa! That one's different! It's its head is a tentacle! Or something. I don't know what's going on with it actually. Ooh, my health. Medication dispenser built within the gauntlet can be used to heal the short or charging downtime after each use. Press B to heal. Okay, sweet. That felt good. Recharging heals, I like that. So I have to be a little bit cautious, but not overtly cautious. We'll see how long it takes to recharge, though. Uppercut and punches. Most enemies can be uppercut with a powerful gauntlet punch. Hold RB for an uppercut. Keep hitting the enemy with RB to keep it airborne. Okay. I, mean, I didn't know I would travel up with it. Why did that happen? Bye! Oh my god! See, that's what I'm more more expecting. The literal uppercut and then stay on the ground and punch Gotta the shit out of it. The rivers. 
This would be a bad time for this thing to collapse. <laughs> it would be, Jesse. But well, don't worry, it'll hold out for us. Cannonball! Hold L or L4 or RB to upgrade an enemy and follow it with a cannonball punch. Cannonballed enemies can be killed by environmental hazards. Boy. <laughs> okay, so that's what I've been doing. Got you. It's weird when games tie... Holding forward and pressing an attack button as a combo. Because I'm holding forward a lot of the times, you know? Oh, I can't go backwards. Okay, well, good to know. You look like you have a smidge more intelligence than the other guys. Enemy special attacks are deadly and unstoppable by regular means. Press uh, right analog to interrupt them with the kickoff. Okay. <laughs> oh, this feels kind of weird. Get close to a near-death enemy and execute them in a spectacular fashion. Approach the glowing yellow enemy and press RB for the final blow. Finishers are rewarded with health pickups. You are invulnerable when performing the finisher. Sweet. You're over, pal. Cool. Well, I guess I don't really need the health pickup because I didn't take damage. The Genu Giant. These oversized cannibalistic predators are native to the Genu tribe of North America and are known for their unusually large physiques. The recent decline of their population inspired them to make a deal with the Sanguisuges. The Sanguisuges. So hopefully someone fucking says that in game for me so I can just be like, ah, again. Looks like you could use a hand. I love that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Hey, friend. Oh, I'm still waiting on my recharge. Dodge. Can I get that other health up now? <laughs> God damn. No, I don't want to stand still. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa! My mind still hasn't gotten fully ready for the, uh, ugh. Ugh. Canceling attacks button. Bye. I said bye. Gosh, I just fought. Be a little patient. But okay, that heal does take a long ass time to charge, but into the Eric's gonna duck my pay for sure. Jesus. I hope this is the rewarding path. Christ. <laughs> Worst damn barbecue ever. Hey, boy -o, guess who's riding in first class and responsible for the biggest delivery in gathering history? Remember when the dream of attending the gathering was just that? Wishful thinking. But I am on my way, soon to be hobnobbing with the creme de la creme. The oldest, the wisest, the most powerful. This is where it begins. If I play this right, in 100 years, I'll be the one being catered to by human douchebags like you. That's it for now. I must bid you adieu. There's still much to do, and I can't louse this up. Yours truly, Chester, the Catering King. Hell yeah! Voiced over letters! Mm. 
More games need to do that! Makes me feel a lot more connected with the game as well. Uh... Rentier Vol Revolver. Handy and reliable, this signature hammer mechanism allows for rapid fanning shots, providing provided one's hands are skilled enough. This weapon doesn't require aiming and can reload automatically once the cylinder is emptied. Hold RT for fanning and tap RT for single shots. Alright. Hell yeah! Alright! I am more than happy to just be able to blast these guys. Oh, holy shit! That hit, but it didn't! Ugh. Ugh. Whoa, oh shit! I fucking... My brain still has to get used to certain things about this particular game. Because, like, they want me to interrupt the enemy attacks by pressing right on the analog stick. But my brain's like, DODGE! And then I end up in this weird state where I don't do either of the actions and I just fucking I take the hit. Good punch could get me through. Got through. Oh, I end up over here anyways. Okay, good. What is this for, anyways? It doesn't seem to do anything, but they're always, like, around places where I can use my rope? Maybe that's what it is? Or maybe it's just an interaction indicator. Okay, let's dance. Oh! Uppercut an enemy and hold RT to keep them airborne. <laughs> That's fun. Ugh. How much blood is this? Jesus. Is that a church over there? Maybe not. Money. Money! <laughs> I can smell you, Chess, you lousy skunk. Uh, come here. Who the hell is Chess? Ooh, money. Is Chess the name of our target? Or was it Chester, the guy who wrote that other letter, if that... Was his name Chester? Or was it like Charlie? Chester Morgan's letter, yeah, okay. Mind if I join you? Uh, yeah, I mind if you're gonna blow me up. Two targets at once. Holy shit! Why, why can I, like, interrupt every single one of their attacks? Jesus, Edgar, watch out! You're welcome! Is there one alive still? Oh, shit! Whoa, shit! 
Chester, is that you? Yeah. Oh shit, good thing I fucking dodged. Jeez. Did I have interrupted that? Oh wow. Ooh. Can't interrupt that! Ooh. Oh my god, damn, that was a lot of damage. Boink. Alright, Chester. Now I'm pissed. Then let's get that son of a bitch. So that wasn't Chester. <laughs> Where's my lore on that fucking thing? Carrion Husk. Carrion Husks are failed experiments, an early attempt to accelerate the change. Their skin calcifies into a hardened husk that gradually starts to rot from the inside out. The mass of boils that erupt consist of blood and bone marrow that weaker vampires can consume to, cons to sustain themselves. Ill. Some say the nutrition afforded allows them to survive for a couple of minutes in the sun. Due to their enormous endurance, carrion husks are tasked with protecting vampiric nests. Young Rent here. Still on your father's leash, I see. Heard you were on your way to the gathering, Chess. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you- That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, 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 Richard, stop! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! <laughs> Excellent choice, Chester. And since you're feeling so damn helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. <clears throat> Consider it a promotion. Give shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could probably do worse. You know, probably blast him. The raid by. Th okay, fuck me, I guess. I don't need to read that. Belmontville Mines, huh? We're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the Bono's gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie, do you? <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! I... <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? Crawling with familias. No question. And where do you think you're going? Judging by that tone of yours, sounds like I'm making sure Fancy Pants here doesn't make a run for it. In broad daylight. That's why we need familiars. I'm starting to question your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking. <sighs> Tick lovers should be shot on sight. Ah, what the hell? Maybe we can play with dynamite out here too. Right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. <laughs> See? You're bonding already. Ah, eat me. Uh, shame they don't have fucking subtitles for the cutscenes. I thought it'd be like a one-off thing. Like, oh, the opening cutscene just doesn't have any cut, uh, subtitles. But no! Every fucking cutscene... ...is not gonna have subtitles! So that's just, uh... That's really unfortunate.
Rentier Rifle, aimed weapon perfect for long range precision shots, including hitting enemies weak spots, capable of rapid target switching. Oh, okay, so here, here's where we get actual, like, a little bit more proper shooting. By itself, you know? Move it. Do these bullets regenerate without me having to, like, do anything? Yeah, it looks like it. All right. Do I? Ah, here we go. Nice, 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 nice. You still get that loading screen explanation of what the mission is just over here. The raid. By thoroughly thrashing the vampire in charge of the questionable cargo, Jesse and Edgar elicit a lead that sends them to the Belmontville Mines. The reluctant bloodsucker guides them down a labyrinth of dark winding paths through the ruins of an ancient temple where a mysterious vampire conclave is taking place. All right, what was it? What, what was it say here? The questionable cargo. As the explosion set by the agents uh, sweep the train off its tracks, Jesse and Edgar finally reach a wreck, sheltering the hustler responsible for the questionable cargo. A vampire called Chester Morgan has been hauling blood and monsters to a secret meeting inside Belmontville Mines, where a huge congregation of ancient vampires is about to take place. Hoping to catch a notorious vampire lord, Peter Deabano, Edgar and Jesse uh, decide to follow the lead. And I missed a few of the monies there. Oh, uh, that's a little bit of a shame, but oh well. So do I, like, spend my money... Okay, here's a skill list. I just don't have access to it just yet. Fine. I'll assume it'll tell me when the time comes. Sometimes, you know, game just you know the can is right there in front of you. Just let you access oh, it. Shut up. I told you my sat's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the booze? Hey, fellas! I'm aiming at them, too! <laughs> weak spots. Use the Rentier rifle to shoot glowing weak spots and deal severe damage. Holy shit. So it's not just shoot them in the head. <laughs> I hope you shot me, so now I gotta get help off of you. New law, servant gunslinger. The human servants of the, the Sanguisuge are referred to as familiars. They help vampires accomplish things they can't accomplish themselves. For example, any activity that can only be performed during the day. These dedicated slaves will give their lives to their masters. Often they let their masters feed on them, which creates an even deeper bond. All familiars hope that one day their masters will turn them into vampires. However, they are usually disappointed as that gift is rarely given. Hey, but it's still eventually given, depending on things. Look at Chester. His letter was implying that he wasn't a vampire yet. Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not gonna happen. Looks like a sketch for a tattoo. Familiars tend to brand themselves like this. Huh. It's a fancy tattoo. Good for them. Oh, did I go? No. Is there a revert checkpoint? What the fuck? Ooh. That went pretty well. Okay. Ooh, look at that, a big chest. Maybe THE big chest. Ghost Scarf, new skin unlocked. What? How does that work? Inspect? No, okay. 
Jesse Rentier, son of William Rentier, the director of the Rentier Institute, after losing his mother as a child. Jesse was raised by his father and forced into training. The regiment was designed to turn him into the Institute's next director. Jesse's earliest memories are of hunting monsters. Because of his father's guidance, he sees himself as a sword against the forces of evil and a shield that can protect the helpless from the hidden evil lurking in the darkness. Uh, though there's still rebellious, there's still a rebellious part of himself that questions his place in the world and his father's plan for the future. I see, I see. I just want to... <laughs> I just want to see how I change into that scarf we got. Oh, here we go. Go scarf. The Rentiers Institute is a respected part of the government security services now. There were times local authorities were unaware of the supernatural threat. In order to minimize gossip and panic, the agents preferred less flashy outfits that helped keep the RI operation secret. This is... <laughs> Well, I got what I restarted the level for. Family of Calvert. Oh, another tick wannabe. Well, that's not going to happen. It's a warm in Florida one, isn't it? I don't know. I'm in Texas, so like it, it usually gets pretty hot a lot of the times. And right now it is 60 degrees even in the middle of winter. So, I mean... It's a, it, it isn't the usual. I feel like usually we hover around 70, 80, even during the, during winter time, but it's, it's been getting cold sometimes. 